Hi, I'm Helen Little. I am Training Consulting and Events Manager at Coram Bath. And it's my privilege this afternoon to talk to um, Hetty Verhagen. Um, Hetty is one of our associate trainers. Um, she is running our half day on therapeutic interventions on the 29th of February. Um, I know very little about this course, so I thought it'd be a really lovely idea to chat to Hetty and share my conversation with you um, to learn a little bit more about it and what it's all about and why we should join. But to start off with Hetty, would you mind telling us a little about yourself? Thank you, Helen. Uh, yes, my name's Hetty, short for Hedwig. Um, I am a therapeutic social worker um, and I've spent my whole social work career um, in adoption, fostering kinship care services. Um, I am at the moment a, a social work lecturer at the University of Leeds um, and I'm also an independent therapeutic social worker. So I, I do therapeutic interventions with uh, with children and, and their families. I um, also managed, uh, was a practice manager at a, an adoption support centre and I've worked with a, in a, a multidisciplinary team of people delivering all sorts of therapeutic interventions. All of that is really helpful when uh, when we run this course. Lovely. Thank you, Hetty. It's brilliant. That's just a, you know gives us a broad as uh, outlook of what you know what what you've done and your experience, which obviously makes you really highly qualified for delivering this. So tell us a little bit about how this course came about. Yes. Well, this course, um, I um, I was asked to write this course um, because Coram Bath was having quite a lot of um, inquiries from social workers who. Who, um, as part of their role had to recommend therapeutic interventions for, for children and young people and, the, and their families um, with the um, you know with the adoption support fund um, coming to be that has become a really big part of lots of people working in adoption support services but also social workers working in fostering teams and working with um, kinship families um, they're often asked to make recommendations or to make applications for funding um, and to um, to kind of build a case of why this particular intervention might work for for this particular family and, and the things that they are dealing with. Um, and that can be a really tricky task. You know, there's so many different interventions out there um, and you can't be an expert in all of them. You can't be trained in all of them. So people were often asking Coram Bath, you know, is there anything you can write? Is there anything you can do? Do you have any training? Um, and I started thinking about that and thought, oh, I think I can put that training together. Um, and I have to say it was, um, you know, doing the research for it um, was just so interesting because I, I started from what I knew and then I found out lots more and really quite surprising things that have had an impact on my own practice as well. Um, so, yeah, that process was, was you know, the ball was um, sent rolling by our Coram Bath members, uh, but I really appreciated being set that challenge. Lovely. So who you, you've, you've alluded to, but who specifically should join this course? Who is it relevant to? So when we um, talked about this course and what we wanted it to be, what we had in mind was those people who would ring the advice line or who would ring in people who would come to practice forums and, and other training events. Um, so, so mostly social workers, um, team managers, um, people working in adoption, fostering, kinship care services. Um, but then actually we've also had um, a number of foster carers on the, on the course who, who said, actually, when we discuss interventions, I want to understand what people are talking about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes I have an opinion why something might work and why it might not work. And it'd be really helpful to have some kind of evidence base behind my, um, you know, my opinions. We've also had people from schools who just really wanted to know what, um, what kind of interventions were out there. Um, Perhaps they were making recommendations, perhaps they were having conversations with, with families, uh, perhaps they were commissioning um, services themselves with, with pupil uh, premium plus funds. Um, and we've had adoptive parents. Uh, we've also interestingly had um, quite a few therapeutic providers. So people who are on the other side, you know, we thought about um, offering this support for people who who make decisions and recommendations, but people who are delivering the support um, were saying, actually, it's really interesting for us to hear what people who are commissioning, what they are thinking about, you know, what before it comes to us, what 
what are the, the thought processes? Why have they come to me and not to somebody else? That sounds like it's sounds like about a wide range of people that would find it really interesting, isn't it? So what do you think stops people from coming on from, from doing this? That's an interesting question, Helen, because we might not necessarily see the people <laughs> who, <laughs> who, who do not want to come on the course. Um, we've had people on the course who said, you know, I'm really experienced. I've been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. I just want to kind of brush up. I wasn't quite sure whether this was the right course. I think maybe if people are very experienced or are very familiar with, with um, quite a few therapeutic interventions, it might feel like, actually, I, I know what works for me. I know what works for my families. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that we talk about on the course is that I think I use this quote, um, you know, to um, to a man with a hammer, everything else looks like a nail. If, yeah. you know, you only think of the solutions that you know of. So the kind of the, the broader your thinking can be about therapeutic interventions and, and, and possible things that might help families, the more you know, the wider your thinking is. I've actually experienced that myself as I've, I've, I'm training quite a few different approaches. And there's always this period, like this kind of honeymoon period, when you, you've just trained in a new approach and you think, oh, this can help everybody. Mm. You know, um, every family, every child, every young person, every human being that I can think of would benefit from this approach. And then you kind of have to bring yourself back down to earth and think, well, it, 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 it's, it's worth introducing this to to these people and for oh. other people other approaches are helpful mm. and i think maybe sometimes that stops people as well that you know they've they just absolutely love theraplay for example or nice. they've seen such fantastic um such fantastic results with ddp or um sensory processing um interventions and because they've seen families being helped so much by by one particular or you know a small number of interventions it might feel like I'm going to recommend that to everybody, but then sometimes it's it's worth kind of casting in at a little bit wider. Yeah. Okay, that's really helpful, isn't it? I think you're right. I think yes, when you've got a new something, you go want to go and and convert the world, don't you? And use it all over, and you can't see anything <laughs> else. So it's like, okay, fair enough. Hedy, do you want to just give us a bit of a an overview? Don't give too much away of what <laughs> of what the course is, is going to look like. I don't want to spoil it, the fun, but you know, it might just be helpful just to sort of get a bit of a feel for it. No spoilers. Um, no spoilers, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, uh, so we look at a number um, of, of approaches. Um, we look at um, many of the approaches that um, are within the scope of the Adoption Support Fund, um, because we, we realise that a lot of people will be, will be working within those criteria. Um, and for all of those approaches, we kind of look at where does it come from, what does it look like? What are um, some of the activities that you might do? What are some of the considerations? Like who might really benefit from it and who may really struggle with this? Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's meant to be very interactive as well. So, um, you know, we share experiences. You know, there may be people who are trained in a certain approach um, or they may have used an approach um, with, with families before. Um, so we, we, there's lots of opportunities for kind of networking and sharing as well. Um, we look at outcomes, you know, how do you measure outcomes? Um, how do people experience having therapeutic interventions? We look at some statistics of that. Um, and then we look at this really interesting body of research about the common factors of effective um, therapeutic interventions. And there are some really surprising outcomes um, Don't give it away. In, in that research. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a cliffhanger now, isn't it? Um, so even though we look at all the different approaches, we also look at what are what are the common factors. Okay. And I think the really exciting bit about that is that when we look at the common factors, what becomes really clear is the important role that the um, the family social worker plays in therapeutic okay. interventions. Mm -hmm. So I know from um, from other things that I've done with Cor and Bath that um, it can sometimes feel for social workers as if their role is to just make the application, and then the the therapeutic practitioner gets to do all the direct work and all the interesting mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. 
and for lots of social workers that's a bit of a loss that's yeah. you know ah oh, this is other person now who's doing this work that i'd be i'd love to be doing but when we look at the common factors what becomes very clear is the the benefit of the very active role of the family social worker mm -hmm. so i feel that by the end of our half day we've kind of reclaimed a lot of um mm -hmm. of that kind of core social work mm -hmm. um skill you know the, the the core social work role that 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 people need to play i'm going to sign up because i think it sounds really <laughs> interesting but no i think, <laughs> I think it, but it's really interesting to sort of um that broad view that sort of um, of lots of different interventions and therefore and what some of the key factors are that sounds really interesting I think and probably really accessible to people who are social workers who could not necessarily specialists but you know they could have at least an understanding of what's you know what what each are and therefore what they're what they're recommended what they're being asked to take part in so mm. um, I, I'm interested in what some of the reactions what some of the feedback is from people that you've had that have done your course just to share that um I think some some of the really interesting feedback from social workers has been they may have started out uh, at the beginning of the day saying uh, the beginning of the morning saying oh I, I I want to know more I don't know enough um, mm. when we're talking about these things I don't feel very confident I feel like I'm saying the wrong thing or I feel like I'm kind of winging it a bit um, and often at the end people say oh I feel more confident now and actually mm. I also realise how much of everything that i do know um you know just from my 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 social work knowledge how beneficial that is in having these conversations um so i think that's that's really nice to hear and then from if parents foster carers kinship carers um when they attend um i really love hearing the feedback that i i actually understand now the role that i play in it mm -hmm. and what yeah. to expect from it mm -hmm. um Often, particularly if this is your first time in, in supporting a child or a young person in a therapeutic intervention, it can feel a little bit, um, it can feel like you've lost a little bit of your power because there's somebody else now who's going to do that, that work, who's going to help the child that you care so much about. But after, you know, doing the course, people realise that, um, you know, they have such an important role to play um, in that whole process. Hattie, that's wonderful. Thank you ever so much. I think you did a great job there of of explaining what it's you know what the course's aims are and where it's come from and who it's who it's suitable for and who's going to benefit from it it does sound really interesting so thank you i have a much better understanding now of of, of the course itself and that just means lots of people now to sign up on the 29th the 29th of february um for the morning and i'll be going and talking to us about it so thanks oh, so much. fantastic thank <laughs> you you're very welcome Bye bye